Welcome to the desert in the summer. We have come to that time of the year where the winds have died down because, because it's no longer spring, but that means the temperatures have gone way up. It was about 110 degrees here yesterday, and that says 105. Right now right now and it's only about 12 30. yeah so it's probably going to get to about the same temperature and this morning the low was only 72 so our house was like 79 was the coolest it got yes so we're starting at a higher temperature now and as you know we live in an off-grid house so we don't have central ac we're trying something different this year last year we bought a couple of portable air conditioners that worked but they used a lot of power, really heated up our solar system. And I, if we can get away with it, I don't wanna risk overheating our stuff because then we are, that's gonna be a painful couple days or a week or something until we get that fixed. I don't wanna run that risk. So instead, we're going the evap cooler route. But it's not so simple. So the evap cooler that we got is portable and we've been using it in the bedroom at night, which is lovely because it uses almost no power. So we can run it after the sun sets. Don't have to worry about needing to have it running with the sun, which is what we did with the ACs. Um, and it cools it off tremendously. It makes sleeping amazing. But that's because we have it coming into the bedroom with the door open and then all the windows open in the house. And so it has place to vent to and the humidity to go. So the idea is you really have to vent an evap cooler or it's going to humidify the inside of your house and it's actually going to make it worse. So you have a fan sucking out all the air from inside going that way and our evap cooler, let me bring you into my office, is right here. As you can see we have some towels up over the door to prevent some of the heat from coming in. So that is bringing in cool, cool air here and it's going through the house and out that window with the help of the fan. This is the first day that we've tried this. It's working well enough. It's still like 83 or 84 in here. Oh, no. It is now uh -oh. 85 and a half in here and 87 in your office. It's 85 in here and 87 in my office. But, and it is, this heat in here is increasing slower than it did yesterday. So it is working to keep it cooler. It's just 105 outside. So. And only getting warmer. And yeah, so it's, it's hard to keep it cool when the house started at 78, 79 this morning. So. so we just got our second swamp cooler in the mail. It's like 10 minutes after I stopped filming the first segment and we put that guy right there pretty sure the dogs are enjoying it <laughs> yes it's started cooling this room down a little bit more too so cool yeah. so courtney what day is it uh monday june 14th and what happens on june 14th no idea it's national bourbon day <laughs> so, guess what's for a happy hour? Bourbon! Bourbon! Fun fact, all bourbons are whiskeys, but not all whiskeys are bourbons. So, let's try a bourbon drink tonight. So this is a nor'easter. A nor'easter? What's in a nor'easter besides bourbon? Lime juice, bourbon, um, maple syrup, and ginger beer. Delicious. Do I get cheers? 
Oh my gosh, that's perfect. I should have cheers you first. But that's so good. That's what do you refreshing. think? Refreshing. Yeah. I was trying to find a refreshing summer bourbon cocktail. Did it. And we have to drown our sorrows in beer or in beer. In booze because it's so hot. But it's nice inside. Yes. One of the things we still love about living out here, to include the sunset, which we get almost every night, is even though it was like 108 degrees today, oppressively hot, once the sun goes down, it's actually very pleasant because it's dry. People always make fun of the term, it's a dry heat, but it makes a huge, huge difference in how the heat feels. This is our time of night. This is most people's time of night when you live in the desert. Now we're taking the pups for one last walk for the day. After the sun goes down, we already moved the EVAP cooler into our bedroom, which is where it will be the whole night to keep us nice and cool and allow us to go to sleep. Otherwise it's rough. It was rough last year. We had to turn the AC off because of the power. Yeah, the AC wouldn't, well, and actually today the AC wouldn't have been able to run much because it's been cloudy. And 110 and cloudy is not a good combination when you're on solar. Nope. But with the, the EVAP coolers, they take almost no power. All right, I'm going to cut the video here. Hope that gave you a little bit of insight into how we live in an off-grid house in the summer and not get completely baked. Actually, that in a different context, that phrase means something completely different. <laughs> and you have to remember, it's not always this hot. This no. is unusual heat. We get a few weeks like this, maybe on and off. So most of the time... It's not always like this, especially this early yeah. in the year.